Hi there, this is Fixed It. I've been asked to take a look at this Leapster Leapfrog. I plugged it in uh, with a 9 volt positive center transform and it all works perfectly. So I undid the back and as is often the case, as you can see that's all quite badly corroded and it's alkaline so it's a bit of a problem. Now if I just try and uh, scrape that out it'll disappear briefly but it's still active. So what I need to do is rinse this off in some water and a small amount of vinegar to completely neutralise the alkaline that's on there. So I'm going to have to dismantle this in order to wash the plastic properly and make sure that there's none inside because the worst thing is if any of this stuff's actually gone down the gaps and onto the printed circuit board it'll rapidly destroy the device. So in order to do that I'm going to have to uh, remove the screws around the outside edge and these screws here and then uh, pull it apart. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to very gently open this up because I'm not sure what's uh, connected inside. So just pull that open. In fact, I missed one screw. Gently does it. Let's see what we get. And open it up. And that's absolutely brilliant. Because what that shows is that um, I can go and wash this and currently there is uh, no sign of any corrosion on the inside of um, this leapfrog so I can even get at these now and clean these up properly um, with a, uh, a bit of neutralizer but also a little bit of alcohol as well just make sure they're clean and uh, right so I'll clean it up and then I'll uh, show you what it's like as you can see there's an awful lot of bubbles coming off those electrodes so you can actually see the, the alkaline leaching away as well so quite a heavy duty chemical reaction fighting against the vinegar that area there which was you know very heavily corroded is really bubbling away well and um, so as you can see you certainly don't want that stuff on your skin so what I'll do is I will wait until that's completely disappeared before I, uh, I do anything else. Okay, I've finished um, agitating. Virtually all the bubbles have stopped. So I'm just gonna leave that for a little bit longer. The amazing thing is, given how bad it looked uh, before I put it in the vinegar and water, like I'd have to use sandpaper to clean up the edges, the vinegar's actually dissolved off all of the particulate. So I'll rinse that and then clean it off with some clean water and then some isopropyl alcohol. I've screwed the case back together after cleaning it all up. Everything's now lovely and clean. The uh, put some batteries in the battery holder and uh, let's slot it in and see if it works. Okay, let's see if it works. It's now working nicely. Well, Pascal will be pleased as punch. So we add it. As you can see, we've uh... Au revoir. Um, yep, so that's how you uh. So that's how you clean the cartridges and uh, clean the battery port on uh, a leapfrog. Hope you liked the video, thanks for watching and if you like it, if you like the video please share it and give it a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching, bye.